Okay, so we are back in the hotel um, for week two of rehearsals. I didn't really vlog much of this weekend because I kind of just wanted to stay home and just hang with people and not worry about getting content. Um, that being said, here's a clip of me playing a double neck. <laughs> I feel like I have to like hunch over to really see what I'm playing. Yeah, exactly. It looks cool. <laughs> While I was playing that double neck, I was checking out this pedal, Pitchfork, which I uh, got dirt cheap. Shout out Roger at Clinton Guitars, hooking me up with this thing. But yeah, basically we need that board functioning and uh, we're gonna do that tonight. And I really don't feel like doing anything because I'm tired. I mean, look at the bags on the bags, I look exhausted. And uh, tomorrow we're just reviewing. We were supposed to rehearse this afternoon. We got locked out of the rehearsal space. So we just kind of uh, ran through some songs in uh, the hotel, unplugged. Probably want to go to the movie theater and watch Spider-Man, but uh, it's not happening tonight. If my friend bails on me tomorrow, then I am going to go do that tomorrow. But uh, tonight, I'm gonna take it easy. This is the current jumble of mess that we're working with right here. This delay, and then this pitchfork has to go on there too. So what I think I'm going to have to do is strip this of everything, and then we're going to take the Voodoo Labs and put that on the back somehow, and run the cables through there. That was a no-go, so I think what we're going to have to do is um improvise which i'm kind of good at i'm good at when it comes to uh bullshitting my way through life i'm not good at when it comes to coming up with a guitar solo so uh this is a good thing i can get my way through this the first thing we have to establish is the signal chain path so obviously the first thing needs to be the tuner so i can get a clean signal in tune the second thing is going to be this pitchfork so i can uh detune my guitar both those are uh well, the the SG is set up for E standard, which is the first time it's been done in, I think, it's it's usually down a whole step, as you're aware, because you are subscribed to this channel. And if you're not, you should subscribe right now, because uh, you see a lot of down-tuned stuff. But yeah, the SG is in standard right now, and some of the songs we're doing in E flat, some we're doing in D, and I don't like transposing because I'm not a jazz musician. The third would be this guy. The uh, overdrive which I'm going to set to low gain now. That's my. That's pretty pretty much my amp. I think I'm going through like a PV or a Fender Twin or something like that. The EQ is going to come after that, so I can get my boost for my solos and whatnot. Uh, then we're going to put the delay on. Then the chorus. Now these two I'm not concerned about. These I'll probably mix and match as we go on. Oh wait, hold on. I want it this way. It should be the uh, super chorus, so we can affect the whole sound, and then we want to delay the whole sound at the end. We'll put the EQ sideways, like, th oh, oh, look at this. Look at this innovation. Boom. No, that might not work. I don't think the patch cable is going to reach. The patch cable is definitely not going to reach. Fuck, I thought I had it for a second. So I think this is the move. I like to have my pedal board on this side anyways, so... Hitting this EQ for solos is not gonna be an issue. See, see, it's just gonna be like that. I actually also like to have it about four feet above the ground too, so I can do that. Um, but yeah, this shouldn't be a problem. Let's just get the Velcro on, I don't have scissors, so we gotta go to the front desk and I don't know where my pants are. All right, so this is pretty much just gonna be the layout of the board. Now, the fun part is I don't have scissors in this room. What I do have is this knife that I'm gonna use to cut the Velcro and probably myself, but uh, that's okay. This knife is probably dirty, but we're gonna use it to cut the Velcro. Kids, don't do this at home. Um, I say this sincerely because some of my students probably know my channel. Seriously, don't do this at home. This is stupid. I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm just gonna go down the front desk and see if I can get some scissors. I also kind of want a blueberry muffin from Duncan's, so I'm gonna go walk there. All right, Duncan's closed, but there's like a deli that's open 24 seven on the other end of the block, so we're gonna try that. Got some scissors. This is gonna be a lot easier now. Also, this elevator, the entire last week or so, has either smelled like Axe body spray or weed, and I hate both of them, and the common, actually, I like the smell of weed, but the combination of the two of them is horrible. Also, this is a lie. This is not true at all. Life is much easier now, in theory. Look at that. 
Look at that. Uh, I'm gonna put it towards the bottom. Shit. That'll be fine. There we go. There goes the resale value. I just put it just a little too close. So I'm gonna wire it first. All right, you guys don't wanna watch this. You guys don't wanna watch this. Yes, this is a pretty jerry-rigged uh, board, but I also don't really use boards. This is the first board I've ever put together. And uh, we're gonna see if it works. So that's a good sign. That's on. Works. Works. Now this pedal um, gave me problems at the end of December. Um, I'm wondering if it's because I was using one of those, like, uh, what do you call it? The daisy chains. And I was running a daisy chain from the polytune into this guy, into that guy, into that. So this pedal did not want to work for a while. I'm hoping it works now. So I'm going to test this rig now. I'm just going to play it straight in the logic and I'll have a, like, whatever UAD's plexi is. All right, so I just spent 10 minutes filming this exact video I'm about to do for you. Uh, this clip of the video, I guess, and I just realized that I had all the amp sim off, so that's why everything sounded like dog shit. So this is our clean, without the pitchfork. This is the pitchfork, a half step down. Um, a whole step down. That's the clean. Now, before I get to the dirty stuff, I'm gonna throw a chorus on, because I was having an issue with that earlier. Uh, I basically set it to output B instead of output A, and nothing was happening. But this is what it sounds like. Um, and then we add some delay, which is kind of, I'm just messing around with it right now. Turn that down here. Cleans a little loud too. All right, now I'm gonna do dirt on. So this is a uh, the Bogner Ecstasy set to like a mild gain, I guess. I'll set it during sound check, but uh, yeah, that's the rig. Um, yeah, thanks for checking it out. See you later. Peace out.